Hi everybody, Ellen here today. I thought I would tell you guys all of this series I finished during 2018 and also a little bit shortly what I thought about them. So this is actually like, this is not a top list of the ones I like the most or anything like that. I'm just gonna think I'm gonna tell them from the order I finished them. The first series I finished this year was like in 2018 was actually Magna Chase and the Gods of Asgard by Rick Riordan. This is a trilogy and we follow Magna Chase and he finds out that his father is one of the Norse gods and you know all of a sudden all these kind of um, monsters and everything like that tries to kill him and he has to try to survive long enough to be able to save the world and as always i love rick Riordan's series um this is not one of my favorite series by him though by any means but i really did love them anyways and it was so good and i'm so happy that i finally finished it i only have a few books left by him before i've read them all because as you can see i have read a lot um but yeah, it was a really good series to start the year with. And then the second series I finished was A Dark Shade of Magic by Victoria Schwab. Uh, I ended up reading the first two books in 2017 and then I read A Conjuring of Light in 2018. And this is a very beloved series here on booktube, I know that. Um, but it's very different to say the least because we follow Kel and he is one of the few people left in the world that can actually travel through these different Londons meaning Black London, Red London, White London and Grey London and he's at the same time as he is sort of the message bearer from between the different kings he also kind of has the job as a smuggler at the same time so one day he actually smuggles something from one of London's that is not supposed to and shit happens after that um, and this series is just very action packed and a lot of intrigues and you get a lot of questions along the way but you get answers to them at the same time and really chunk of books but it's definitely worth it. And then the third series I finished this year was actually The Illuminae Files by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. This is one of my favourite series of all time and I read Obsidio, which is the third book and during 2018. I actually reread the first two books because how could I not? Um, and this is about this planet called Corenza, and the people there have actually illegally sort of um, had this mind that they're not supposed to have, and they actually get invaded because the people who you know make all the decisions does not want them to have this mine and they try to pretty much kill all the people on the planet um but people ends up escaping um there this really big ass freaking space hunt takes part and it's epic um and that's the first book because i don't want to spoil the other ones uh but you do follow different main characters in each of the books but you can't help but love all of them just the same and then number four is creekwood duology and this one is made up by some of us the homo sapiens agenda and leon the offbeat these books i love simon so so much it's definitely one of my favorite contemporary books of all time um but these books have a lot of diversity both when it comes to religion and origin and you know, sexual identity and stuff like that and it's very different and I love it so much and <laughs> there's also a lot of Harry Potter references so you know I'm sold. Simon Spear, he's 16 years old and he's actually been emailing this guy named Blue for the last couple of months and he doesn't know who Blue actually is but he does know that Blue actually goes to his school um, but one day when Simon is logged into one of these school computers in the library he actually forgets to log out and then there's this guy that sort of takes advantage of this and starts to blackmailing Simon and telling him that I will tell everybody that you're gay unless you do this for me which is actually help him with you know something I don't want to spoil it um, but I really love it so so much and it's just it's all good the pivot point duology and this is made up by pivot point and split second by Casey West and this is also a series she usually writes contemporary but this is not one of them and this is a series about 
people with different powers and the main character she can actually um, if, she, if she's put with, up with if she's told that you have to choose uh, between this and that then she can actually sort of see into the future and see um, what these different options would lead her so if she goes with option A she can see how that would plan out and if she goes with that option B she could see how that would plan out and therefore she knows which one might you know make the best part for her and uh, her parents actually split up and her dad goes to the normal world where nobody has powers and her mom actually stays at this place where everybody has powers so now she has to decide does she want to move in with her dad or does she want to stay with her mom and she goes ahead and sees into the, these two different futures and it turns out none of them are very like you know not both <laughs> none of them were actually ex exceptionally good so she has to choose between two kind of not good futures um but yeah i really love this one so much it's very different which I like in a series. I also finished A Daughter of the Pirate King by Trisha Levenseller. This is made up by Daughter of the Pirate King and Daughter of the Siren Queen. And this is about a pirate. This is about a pirate ship with a pirate crew that are all female and are supposed to find the parts of this map so they can find a treasure. And it's really kick ass, it's really funny, <laughs> and I just I love it so much. Then the seventh series I finished in 2018 was Hinsida series and <clears throat> this one is made up by Nyken till Hinsides, Hinsides Brinner and Hinsides Vektere and all those three books are written by Karin Altegen and Albin Altegen and this is actually a middle grade series and you know you get to follow the kids you get to follow twins uh, Linnea and Linus and their mo mother actually sees this ad in the paper about a house that needs help with renovations and you're allowed to live in this house for free if you just agree to work on the house. And they move there for the summer and Linus actually ends up finding this hidden world in this house. I go into this other place called Hinsides and there's a lot of magic and trouble in this place and it's really cool and I really enjoyed reading this one so much and it was really sweet and had beautiful illustrations and everything like that so it was really an enjoyable series and, and then the 8th series I finished was The Reckoners by Brandon Sanderson this series is made up by Steelheart, Firefight and Calamity and um, this is a series about people with superpowers called epics so in this one we meet david and this one we meet david and as a 10 year old he actually witnesses dad being killed by one of the epics called steelheart and after that david makes his life's mission to actually to actually kill all the epics um but as he grows into adulthood he actually starts keeping sort of a memoir about all of the epics he's ever come across and what the superpowers are and what their um, weaknesses might be but to be able to finally take down all of the epics and steelheart in particular he actually has to join up with the reckoners who also have the same agenda as david does and I love this series so much. It was actually the first series I read by Brandon Sanderson, um, the first out of many, <laughs> I might add. Um, and I really fell in love with this world and the characters, and I just I love it so much. The next series I finished, which was Band for Band, um, by Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian. I don't really remember what all of the books is about. It's Band for Band, Ashes to Ashes, and something more. I don't remember which order they come in. Um, but this is very mysterious. I mean, there's about three girls. You don't really hang out before this. And they sort of get on this revenge plan because there's this guy that treated all of them like crap and they want to take out their revenge. But then it turns out shit goes down. And it's really weird. It definitely took like a different direction from what I have had originally thought. Completely different direction. And I really enjoyed it and it was really interesting and definitely liked it a lot more than I thought it would. The 10th series I finished was Wires and Nerve by Marissa Meyer. This one is made up by Wires and Nerve and Gone Road. This is actually graphic novels that take place um, after the Lunar Chronicles series, so we get to follow some of the same characters, but it's after, you know, the original four books. In this series, we get to follow Aiko, who is one of the characters from the original, original Lunar Chronicles. She actually tries to track down these kind of monsters and make the world a better place. 
that's all I want to say because I don't want to spoil the Lunar Chronicles for you but it was really nice um, graphic novel and really quick read and very very kick ass. And then the 11th series I finished was Warcross Duology by Marie Lu. This is made up by Warcross and Wild Card and in the first book we meet Anika Chen and she's actually this bounty hunter meaning that she tracks down people that for example, have a bet illegally on this game called Warcross, and then she gets a bounty for you not know, catching them. Um, but when she misses out on a bounty, she actually turns a little bit desperate because she's about to get kicked out of her apartment because she can't afford rent. And when this very official Warcross game starts, she actually hacks herself into the game trying to steal one of these sorts of gadgets if you will that is in the game so she will be able to sell it but while doing so she accidentally glitches herself into the game and all of a sudden everybody knows who she is and she thinks that the cops will be coming after her but it turns out actually that the creator of the game Hideo Tanaka actually wants her to work for him because they have some issues with the game and I really loved the first book so so much and then the second book definitely took a different turn completely but I really did enjoy it and it was a really good duology. The 12th series I finished was Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. This is a trilogy made up by The Final Empire, The Well of Ascension and The Hero of Ages. This was the second series I finished by him and I love it so much. In this world we have people that can use alamancy, meaning that they can inhale mad, uh, metals and that after they can actually like use these different metals to maybe um, jump real high or hear really well and stuff like that and then we have the um, sort of rebellion that they start up because they want to get rid of this um, dark lord who's actually run this world for a thousand years and they start this war together with the scar people who's actually a very suppressed very badly treated people and shit goes down and I love this so so much, it's definitely one of my favourite series of all time and I just I can't believe it's over because I want more with these characters and the series it just made me cry a lot, <laughs> especially the third book and I just I kind of want to reread them already which is very weird because they're enormous books and that scared me from reading them for a really long time but now I have read them and I definitely love them so so much and it's definitely worth the read. We come to the 13th series and this was actually um, the Montague si uh, Siblings I think the series is called, I'm not really sure um, but this is made up by the gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue and the Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy and this is by Mackenzie Lee and <coughs> In the first one we get to meet Monty and he's actually supposed to go on this big Europe trip together with his friend Percy and his sister Felicity and that is so that when he comes back he's supposed to be really refined and he's supposed to be now like into adulthood so that he will be able to take over his father's estate when the time comes because his father feels like he's not ready for that yet and that is why he's supposed to go on this trip. But not very long into the trip they actually come across a couple of problems. Maybe Monty steals something he's not supposed to and all of a sudden there's people hunting them. Shit goes down and I really love the first book so much. The second one is really really great as well but the first one is still my favourite and I still love the characters and it's set in the 1700s and it's just it's so great. And then we have this series, I'm not really sure what it's called, um, but it's about the surgeon called Svestan Irpe. <laughs> and these books are made up by Lex Duplex, Lex Diemos or Lex Domini. I think Lex Diemos is actually the last one. Um, and in this one we meet Svestan Irpe and he is a surgeon and all of a sudden people start dying around this little town and for some reason people trying to make him look like the guilty one and he actually has to sort of turn a little bit investigator to be able to clean up his own name and that's actually what he does and it's very interesting and really quick read and I really did enjoy it. And then the 15th and absolutely last series I finished in 2018 was the Kane Chronicles and this is written by Rick Riordan so I actually finished two series by him this year. These series are made up by the Red Pyramid, um, 
the Throne of Fire and the Serpent's Shadow. And in this series we meet Sadie and Carter and they're actually siblings. Um, Sadie actually grew up with her grandparents while Carter was growing up with his father. And they find out they're sort of ancestors to some Egyptian gods and once again they have to, you know, get into their power, learn how to handle it, come together to save the world over and over and over again. Because that's what Rick Riordan series is all about. Um, I really enjoyed this series. It's still not one of my favorite Rick Riordan series, but it's definitely really really good. And the third book overall was really great. So that was actually the last series I finished this year. Um, overall I really enjoyed all of these series actually. Some of them were new favorites of all time and others was just really really great. But yeah, if you have read any of these series please let me know down below what you thought about them without spoiling of course. And if you like this video please don't forget to give me some thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the little button down below. And yeah, I hope you see each other in the next one. Bye!